Hi guys, sorry it's been a while and I've been off the radar. I've been really busy, obviously if you've seen uh, my YouTube page, I've now got quite a lot of videos going on there. What you're all here for, which is a real flow plugin for Cinema 4D, uh, release uh, 11 up to 14 and onwards if you're watching this with release uh, 70 million or however many they plan to do. So download the file in the description link below, open those up and as you can see there you've got two files .exe for Windows and a package for Mac. Obviously we're going to do this in Mac so double click on it and obviously if you're in uh, Windows just follow along the same. Uh, click continue, uh, choose your destination where you want to save it. So obviously I'm going to save it on my hard drive rather than my uh, uh, external hard drives. So just choose that. Uh, and then obviously you've got three different files there, don't panic, you've got release 12, uh, 11.5 and 11, but you can actually use this for 13 and 14 and upwards. Quite a lot of people don't tell you that and I was a bit stuck when I had to install it, so this is why I'm telling you how to install it. Just click on the arrows or, or if you're on Windows, change where you're going to install the file to and install it to your desktop because it is obviously easier as we can move it around a bit quicker, plus it's easier to show you that as well. So once you've chosen the desktop, it shouldn't take too long. Obviously, I've already installed it anyway, so it might. Uh, type in your, your password if you need to, especially on Mac. I'm not too sure about Windows. Haven't used a Windows computer in about three years strong, which is fantastic. Hate Windows. Um, yeah, so once, it's, as you can see there, yeah, see like it froze. This I had to redo voice. Anyway, once it's installed, you'll get a folder uh, on your desktop with the RealFlow plugins inside it. So just close down the installation and then obviously there, there's the folder. So you want to click on that and as you can see in there it's got those two files plus another folder. Don't touch them, I don't know what they do, I'm not really very technical with plugins and stuff but obviously that's what's inside it. There isn't any viruses or anything like that, uh, I got this file through another video and just figured I would do one because obviously they didn't really explain it very well. But obviously it's on my media share anyway and it hasn't detected any viruses or anything. So you want to go into your applications, you want to open up your Maxon folder and install it into your plugin. So if you've got release 12, 13, 14 or whatever, you want to plug it into there. So all you need to do is just drag and drop that folder which has got all the package contents in it inside the plugin folder and then that's pretty much it. Obviously if you're in Cinema 4D or make sure you close it down and then reopen it because obviously it's not going to just magically appear as far as I'm aware and as you can see there it's all inside. So there's your quick tutorial which should have only taken a couple of minutes and enjoy real flow.